Traffic projections are not about figuring out how much traffic there'll be in the future. That's what we pretend they're about. Traffic projections are about one thing and one thing only, and that is justifying current expenditures today, current investments in transportation today. When we look at uh, the whole science of traffic modeling, what we're seeing is something that is not rigorous at all. It, it has a veneer of rigor. It has a veneer of being technical, but we never look back and say, how do we screw that up so badly? How do we mess that up? How, 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 do, how do we get traffic wrong? The only time we use traffic projections is to say, we want to do this project today, and if we don't, here's what will happen. Or we want to do this project today, and if we do, here's what is going to happen in the future. This is the most unrigorous approach. And we should live in a world where we throw out traffic projections. We stop using them altogether. And we just live in a world with that level of uncertainty. Engineers don't want to do this because a traffic projection and that veneer of technicality gives them a lot of power, gives them a bigger budget, gives them a, a lot of kind of authority in pretending to be able to project what the future is going to be like. They can't. Let's stop pretending we can. My name is Chuck Marone and that is my confession.